The art of storytelling allows us to share our culture, our dreams, our hopes, our ideas. I enjoy telling stories so much. And researching stories and preparing to tell stories to an audience that you always hope will come, you find little tiny stories like where the stories come from. The children would ask me where the stories come from and see there is a people that are very much like my people. And these people say that long, long ago that there was a mouse and this little tiny mouse. This little tiny mouse would run through the houses of all of the villages and sometimes it was the poor houses and the middle of the road houses, the houses on the hill, sometimes it was the houses in the valley, this mouse would run in and out of the house. Well, as she would run around all these different houses, she would collect little stories, a little different stories. And as she would collect those stories, she would begin to name those stories. And as she named those stories, they were like her children. She loved those stories. Each of those children that she would start to name, she'd send them out. She would take them with her, and she would have different kinds of clothes on them. Sometimes she would dress them in red or in blue, or in green, or in orange. They had all of their own colors and their own thoughts and their own ideas. But then one day, a sheep ran up against the door of the old house where the mouse lived. It broke down the door, and all of the children ran out. They ran everywhere. They ran here and there and up and down, and that is how stories got around. And anyone can just reach out and grab a story, bring it in, and keep it in your heart like giving it a home. But it's never really your story until you share it. And that's where stories come from.